She's learning the art of the game. I've actually never played before. Ash. Me neither. You got to show us how and it works. I'm obsessed. I've never played before, and I am officially obsessed. Macy, I heard you say earlier that your best friend loves this game. She does. So just a few minutes ago, I was having some fun, throwing the ball, and I actually scored after my second throw. I was very excited about that. It's what they call a kiss once you score. That is when that big colored ball touches the little white ball. But right now, we're going to get a little uh, quick tutorial, if you will, on how to play this lovely game. Um, Rich, can you explain this to me as while we watch these guys throw? Okay, about you ball is, is really simple and basically it's you have a white ball of Polino that you throw out then you have red balls and green balls which represent two teams and you're trying to throw to get closest to the Polino so if you're close with one ball it's a point uh, the other team tries to either get in inside that ball or knock that ball away to score a point so each team has four balls and they they throw until uh, that frame is over Wow. Okay, so let's talk about why this is so special for the Dante Club. Specifically, this is the first time in 40 years that you are bringing the games back to this location. Well, Dante Club has 385 members, and uh, bocce ball is a part, of course, the Italian culture. And we felt that uh, it, it was it was a need to have it come for the camaraderie of uh, of our group, uh, their their wives as well, because we do have an auxiliary women's auxiliary, okay. and uh, it, it's just to get people together, enjoying a little bit of Italian uh, heritage culture. Uh, you know, we celebrate it on a regular basis. Sure. Now I'm learning, you guys, about the uh, Italian culture, and what I did learn was bocce has now technically two definitions. One is kiss, and one is ball. Am I correct? Well, the the kiss is when one of the balls rests against the polino, the white ball. Okay. And if it stays there through the length of everybody throwing, then it's called a bocce, and that's a kiss. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's worth two points. Two points. Kiss, yeah. Kisses okay. are always better. I love kisses. Kisses are always better, Rich. You are right. No, I want to throw, so I'm just going to walk on over. You can walk with me if you want. So, Camby and Macy, I am very competitive. Anybody will tell you I am, in fact, so competitive, I always win. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, Nobody will that. tell that's us that. Not true. Okay. That's not true. That's not. <laughs> that's actually not true. I don't always win, but I, in my heart, am. I am going to throw. Do you mind? All right. So here I have the green ball. I'm going to give you the microphone, and why don't you just and now why don't you officiate or yeah. Okay, guys, Ashley is stepping up. She's relatively a new player, novice, but she's got a nice throw, and she put it up there probably two feet from the Polino. She's looking really good at this point. That was pretty good, Ashley. Great form, great touch. Thank you so much for commentating. I appreciate that. There you have it, guys. Dante Club. You see, you should see the information on your screen. And, of course, you can get more info on GoodDaySacramento.com. Thank you so much, everybody. Good right, job. Back to you. That was pretty good, Ashley.